I feel like I always have to push myself to the limit. When I speed ski, I want to be uh, the best in the world. When I'm on the bike, it's the same feeling. There is a lot of uh, similarity between uh, um, uh, speed skiing and uh, bicycling because basically what I need, what uh, my, my mind needs and my body needs is uh, the competition. Not only is he a cyclist, he is one of five men to ever ski over 250 kilometers an hour or 156 miles an hour. And to reach that level of athleticism, you have to be incredibly motivated. After several years of uh, training and uh, getting ready, uh, I was finally happy to fly to San Diego to take part of the race across America. And when I, land in, uh, when I landed in uh, San Diego, I wasn't feeling very good. He was all sweaty and feeling hot and dizzy, and so I took him to the closest urgent care, with, which thankfully was uh, Scripps Urgent Care. They discovered that Philippe had ARVD, or arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. When I was feeling in top of my form, I was ready to race the longest race in the world, and then suddenly they told me, no, your heart is sick. And it, it was like probably the biggest shock, shock in my life. This just tells us if you've had any ventricular tachycardia. I'm really blessed is to uh, have uh, met uh, Dr. Rogers because uh, since the first uh, talk we had, he said, uh, he told me that it's not the end of the world, that there is solution. The way he implanted in the muscle, you can see it. You know, it's, uh, it's something that is, is uh, monitoring my heart 24 hours a day. Two, one, two, one. Even if it's 6,000 kilometers, I know that I can send him a text. At the same time, he will look at uh, his computer to see if my heart is giving good sign of uh, functioning. Philippe May, Race Across America, 2015. He has this security that his heart is not going to go wacky. And if it does, if he has some kind of arrhythmia or, or tachycardia, the defibrillator is there to pace him out of it. And it's a security that he's not going to shockingly die of sudden cardiac arrest. We're on East Coast time now. When I look at Philippe and I look back at the year that we've had together, I think about Scripps and everything that he's been through here. And I'd like to thank Scripps as well as Dr. Rogers for saving Philippe's life and also saving his way of life and giving us the opportunity to have a future together. To be uh, alive but without any goal will not mean much to me. And uh, the fact that they were able to uh, preserve my uh, fighting spirit, my, uh, uh, re my research for uh, achievement and performance, it means the world. <laughs>